and welcome to today's story class. My name is Olua Tumbi Blessing, Ola Likon, the founder of Michael Tech. Alright, today we'll be considering the problem as displayed on the screen. Two cranks AB and CD are connected by a link BD. We are told that AB rotates about A, while CD oscillates about C. So trace the locus of the midpoint P of link BD for one complete revolution of crank AB. All right, so we are told that the length of crank AB is 40 and AB rotates about A. So if that is the case, this is what I'm actually going to do, all right? First of all, I'm going to produce a, a 10 horizontal line in this order at the center of my paper, all right? So after doing that, I'm going to pick my set square. Okay, I'm going to provide a perpendicular as this edge here, like this, as you can see on the screen. So we are told that radius for AB or length AB is what is 40. So with my compass, I'm going to pick my ruler and measure distance of what of 40, as you can see. Then I'm going to stand on where at this center and what produce a circle. Produce a circle. Okay. So the length here is length A B. So rotate about A, which means this area is what A. I'm going to pick this upper part here as my what as my B. I'm going to pick that as my B. So please take note. All right. So we are told that A B rotates about A since it rotates. So I'm going to actually divide A B into twelve equal halves as it is. Okay. So. I'm going to apply principle of division of circle into 12 equal halves. So kindly check the link under the description below to learn how to divide a circle into 12 equal halves if you can't do that, all right? Okay, as it is, I have divided AB into 12 equal halves. So uh, we are not given the direction of rotation, all right? Since we are not given, then I will add, take my AB to rotate in a clockwise manner, in a clockwise manner like this, like this. So this is the direction of rotation. In a clockwise manner. So what does that imply? That implies that this will be what B1, B2, B3, then like that. And this area being what B11. Okay. So if you check the question, it says uh C D oscillates about C. So under the dimensions given, we are told that distance between A to C is 85 mm, 85 mm. So I'm going to pick my ruler. I'm going to get max C first of all. Okay. So picking length of 85 millimeters, which is this, that's 85 mm. Standing from A, I get my what? I get my C. So this area is my max C. Max C. And it's like a pivot right here. Okay. This is max C. Okay. A pivot right here, but it what it oscillates, it oscillates. Since it oscillates, I'm going to okay. Yeah, we are told that our CD is what CD is 70. So I'm going to pick my compass, measure 70, measure 70. Since CD actually oscillates, so I'm going to draw this arc faintly like this. I'm going to make it big. You understand? So distance between C to this big arc here is what is 70. Let me even draw it up to this level since I don't know where my object will actually oscillate to. Okay. So the, from here to any area on this arc is what is 70. That's my what that's my CD. Okay. So we are told that distance between B to D is what is uh 105. 105. So I'm going to pick my compass. Okay, I'm going to measure distance of 105 with my compass, which is here to here. As you can see on the screen okay distance of 105 then from my b okay anywhere on this area that it touches that's my what this is my d so i have my b to d then i'm going to link c to d first of all like this i'm going to make it bold okay then i'm going to link d to b also like this i'm going to make it bold also then i'm going to make a and b bold also like this okay so a b d and c that is it okay that is it now we are told to get the locus for point p we are told that point p is the midpoint of what of bd midpoint of what of bd so if our bd is uh 105 the 
midpoint of that is going to be what 52.5 so with my compass and my ruler i measure 52.5 standing on b i have my what i have my point p so this area asterisk it is my point towards point p so now we are told that a b makes a complete revolution so if a b is making a complete revolution then what is actually here is that we are going to replicate the same thing we did this first time okay we are replicating it on 12 points okay so just follow me so the principle of crank on link mechanism are more or less like the same if you can figure out the first step then you are almost halfway there all right so my b to d is what is 105 picking my compass with 105 i come to here b1 since it is rotating in what in a clockwise manner so from b1 i strike an arc where my arc touches you know c to this bigger arc is what is already 70 so i have my d there permanently i don't need to start measuring my mark d okay my max cd actually so this is my what now this is my d1 so having my d1 i will link that d1 to c faintly okay then d1 to b1 faintly like this and don't forget our bp is what midpoint the midpoint bp which is 52.5 i take note of that and that's my what that's my p1 so i have my b1 p1 and what and d1 so i'm going to replicate the same thing on b2 right here on b2 i strike this arc so this is my what my d2 all right so i'm going to join my d2 to my c right here faintly then my d2 to here to b2 right here faintly okay with my midpoint 52.5 from b2 i get my what my p2 okay so applying the same thing on b3 okay so you see wherever it touches so it touches that bigger arc here okay this is my what d3 so i'm going to link d3 to c okay and d3 to what to b3 in this order faintly then my midpoint 52.5 and i have my what my p3 okay so getting my uh d4 okay so this way it touches uh the arc so this is my what d4 okay d4 to b4 faintly all right then uh getting my what my uh p4 all right so likewise for my b5 i get my yeah this is it so that's my d5 okay then i'm going to link d5 to b5 all together like this okay then with my midpoint i'm going to get my uh p5 which is this junction here my p5 all right so likewise on mark b6 i'm going to get my what my uh d6 with my dixes i'm linking d6 to here to uh b6 okay linking to b6 then i'm going to get my what uh my p6 so don't forget linking them to your point c so my d6 to point c right here faintly my d5 to point c right here faintly my d4 to point c right here faintly so don't forget that all right so then going to b7 all right from b7 with my length 105 sorry yeah length 105 i have my what d7 because length of vd is what is 105 then link d7 to what to b7 right here faintly okay faintly then like this i'm having my what uh my p7 yeah I denote it right there okay so we move with my length 105 from b8 i get my what uh right here my d8 so my d8 to b8 i'm going to do that just now faintly okay then with my compass i what i pick my what my p8 so let me uh advise you guys when you are doing uh any problem on loci please don't rush don't model everything together just take it the same way i'm doing it one step at a time so if you make the mistake of marking all the this first before coming back you might actually mix it up all right and that is actually going to cause a lot of confusion so kindly try to uh 
take note of that so that you don't fall victim okay so my d7 to c right here my d8 to c right here also faintly okay you can see see this what it is still oxidating as you can see on the screen okay so with my 105 on my b9 this is my b9 right here i mark my arc this is my what my d9 so my d9 to uh, b9 right here which is this faintly okay then i'm going to get my p9 from here so that is it p9 okay so then uh, my b10 yeah i have my what my d10 so from my d10 to my b10 which is this right there okay then i'm getting my what my p10 okay then my b11 b11 so right here this is my d11 then from d11 to b11 i'm linking them together like this then i get my what my uh p11 so i'm going to link the this so d11 to c right here okay d10 to c right here okay and d9 to c right here so that is it so take note so these are p p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 p8 p9 p10 and what and p11 and we're told to link to draw the locus of what of point p draw the locus of point p so the next thing is i'm going to pick uh, my french curve or my regular curve then join the points of p all together all right so that is the next step now take note all right so that is the locus of point p after i join them with my what with my french curve or irregular curve all right so that is the end of uh, the problem as displayed on the screen so kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also device to your friends who might be in need of it my name remains oluwa tumbi blessing or the founder of michael tech thank you